everybody. everybody. Welcome to another episode of Tranny and C. I'm Tranny. This is C. We have in front of us a blind challenge. Yeah, today. this is a classic Trenny and C. What's the best? Um, today we've got What's the Best Glenfiddich? And we've got the Glenfiddich 12, 14, 15, and 18. And we are going to blind taste them. We're each going to take a turn doing it. And that's going to remove age statements, prices, marketing, outside influence, and it's just going to tell us which one we personally enjoy the most. Yeah, and it's kind of a first impression, nosing, tasting, go through it, pick what we like tonight, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see where we end up at the end of the That's right. Do you have a cheap palate, or do you have expensive tastes? Mm. We shall find out. Um, I'm going to go first tonight, Yeah. so I'm going to skedaddle. Yeah. You load up my glasses using the uh, the, the uh, patented. patented sticker coating system, and uh, I'll be back uh, to taste them off. Sweet. Okay. okay, here we go. I'm just going to not get too scientific about this. I'm going to put a blue one here. Red one. The key to any blind tasting is a good palate cleanse. Oh, mm. this is true. Mm -hmm. This is true. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's uh, reveal. Good. I've matched stickers to stickers, and you cannot see the bottles, and we've left the glasses. I can see the back of the bottle. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's a yellow uh, glass in front of me, so I'm going to hit that up first. And I know sometimes the first one can have the most influence, so I'm going to take a really small sniff of it and quickly move to the next one. Good plan. Okay. Green. Okay. C is usually much Red. better at Ooh. picking out or saying tasty notes as we go. I'm usually saying, mm, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Um, okay, so I just wanted to like get something on my <laughs> nose palette for a yeah. second there. And I'm going to go in the reverse order to actually really get a whiff now. Okay. Okay, so I'm starting with blue, really. Here we go. Okay, it has a nice kind of uh, mild spice to it. It has that little bit of a sherry and fruity presence to it. It's nice. I'm going to move on because I'm not, it's like my baseline, really. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's good. It was good though. Blue, blue was good. And you're on like which? It. I'm on red now. Red, okay. Okay, red seems to be a little bit more mellow. Maybe I should reset the nose palette by sniffing your sweaty uh, elbow. Arm smell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm getting it. Yeah. Okay, this one. More of the spice element. Um, but. Not as much of like kind of anything else. Okay, here we okay. go. Still good. Now we'll both have good nose. Okay, moving on to the green. Here we go. Rough it up a little bit. Okay, green is more, uh, has a more of a citrus zest to it. Okay. Some, um, a nice kind of like plasticky note, um, but bigger citrus zest for sure. It's, okay. It's, Look at that, they're all pleasant. It's hard to rank them right now. Yeah, I'm gonna make this. Gonna... This it's a hard job, I find, but 
somebody out there in the YouTube world has to do it. And this I is feel like we should. We should. This is maybe more the apple pie one. What color? Yellow. Yellow. Okay. okay um, let me go quickly back through them. Oh man, blue is blue is like mellow and. If I had to say, I think I'm gonna go red as my favorite. Okay. Green with the citrus vibe, second. Blue, third, and yellow, fourth. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's my nosing that's ring. That's your nosing ring. Okay, I'm gonna get into tasting, I'm gonna taste them in the reverse order. Okay. I'm starting I'm with yellow. Taste my fourth place nose, okay. which is yellow. It's. Hmm. Hmm. Well, okay, okay. We always <laughs> okay. we always do this, and like sometimes I just want to say, and this isn't I'm not saying anyone here is having an off night or an on night specifically, mm -hmm. but there are times where it's like you, it, it's really hard because sometimes when you're going a, a distillery against itself, mm -hmm. it's like it's they well, have that's, style. So well, that's know. the thing is that if if it was you know. Glenn Fittick versus Glenn Livett versus Glenn Drawn. If you yeah, like exactly. a Glenn round, like there'd be different, you know, stylistically. Which is a good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the best Glenn? Yeah. Um, but here it's uh, like they do all have the same like kind of like base formula, yeah. so it, it becomes tougher. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this expedite this. Here we go. Last place as a nose. Yeah. Delicious okay. taste. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, quick palette set. Yep, and you're gonna be on to the blue. I'm doing blue. A little taste of the blue. I like the yellow. Yep. Well, one thing we found is we like all of them, so it's really good. This one's maybe a little bit sweeter and um, denser or richer or something. Okay. I think initially I'm gonna put blue ahead of yellow. Okay. Okay. Just um, not as you're doing it. I see. Yeah, blue is blue right now in the, the ranking order. Blue is ahead of yellow. I'm okay. moving on to green. Green had that nice kind of like citrusy, but like a bit of a leathery vibe too. This was my second favorite nose. Here we go. Green on the taste is pretty good. Okay. Green's tasty. It's very soft, but it has this like sweet, leathery, sherry, yumminess. Green is okay. in the lead for sure right now. Okay. Like well, green's a little, maybe a little notch ahead of blue and yellow. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I really like green. Okay. Let me get some more. Final dram. I might have to do it. One more turbo round. I don't know yeah, if I yeah, should yeah. guess myself. I maybe shouldn't second guess myself. Yeah, Here we go. Do do what you please. Okay, red. Here we go. Oh, red's got really nice. Um, uh, leathery baking spice. Um. Like a denseness to it, like it's um totally different flavor. Oh, I like that too. Oh, it's okay. Shoot, like right now, here's where. Okay, let me just tell you where I'm at. Right, right now I'm at green being at the top. Okay. Red being second. Yep. Blue being third, and yellow being fourth. Okay. But I need to go back through them because it's like they're. This is normally what you do. Yeah. Normally you're the well, guy. We, we got to let you have your uh, your moment here because sure. I definitely uh, sometimes take 15 minutes out of a 20 minute review. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to take like um here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go fourth versus first for a second. Ooh, Just to like kind of do this like are they that far off? Yeah. So yellow is fourth. Okay. Yellow is fine. Green's effing good. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I believe in my ranking first versus fourth, second versus third. Okay. Mm. 
Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah. Is this entertaining? Like <laughs> they're, they're they're good. It's, so another thing to keep in mind is all of these, besides one of them, is for uh, they're all forty percenters. So and the other is forty three. So I don't think like I don't I don't think I should second guess myself. I'm sticking just, with I'm sticking with my rank. Okay. Oh, yeah. So fourth place, I've got the yellow one. What is it? Okay, fourth place, yellow, is Glenn Fiddick, eighteen year old. Glenn Fiddick. Do, 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 do. 14 oh, or 15 sorry 15 15 year old is your fourth place wow that's so crazy should we put it in i'm gonna go like fourth place over here okay. and then second to last place so third third place place. <laughs> is going to be glenn Livett, 12 okay okay so i mean these are all respectable choices regardless well that's interesting that i like the 15 over the 12. Yeah. Wait, the, no, I no, like the 12 liked, over the 15. Liked, I, I apologize. Yes, that's right. So now you have your red, and that is going to be the 14 year old bourbon cast oh. style. And then you My loved this gram. instantly. Yes. Uh, was the Glenn Finnick 18 year old. Oh, so, so good. But um, so, so that good. would be the order right here. First place. Is the, so let, let's, move, let's the move the bottles now. First place is uh, wow that so first, 18, 14, 12, and fifteen. That's that's interesting. Cool. Okay. Cool. I'm um I'm excited to try this for you. Mm -hmm. Me see too. Where we land with you. Okay. Let's do it. Scram. Okay. We'll get out of here. My glasses are up there. Perfect. You get to sip on those. Wow. That's um delightful. I wonder if like people wonder what we do off like in the other room. There. I ate a cheese string. And Did then, you? Uh, well, that's probably a good idea. I hate one, one of my, yeah, I hate one of my kids' cheese string, and then I got a glass of water. Is what I did. I do chin ups for the first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just do curls. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, bottles are hiding. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna put this. That's not kind of in the way. Oh. Perfect. You might see me bending out a bit. Okay. And so. I'm gonna what what I'd like you to do yep. is I'm gonna I'd like you to take it take a sip and then put it in the back and then once you've or or schnoz yeah. kind of schnoz of each one and once you put them all in the back then, then I'll the take the hood off. Okay, I guess I'll go with uh, what I have in front of me here. Sure. Okay, so blue. I'm gonna try to do this relatively quick. Yeah. Okay. So doing it quickly is not your specialty. Oh, that blue instantly. Did it blue? <laughs> my mind? blew my mind. That's. Okay, that's what Instant, I was really, really nice. But, but that's what I was trying to avoid when in my turn was like having the first one like knock your socks off. So I kind of did this little like. <laughs> yeah. So okay, I'll go to yellow now. Um. You already blew it. It's so. it's a little bit more. On the malty side of things. A little bit spicy. I one guess. thing I will say from yep. doing the lineup first myself yep. is that at least. I found that the Glenfiddichs were somewhat distinctly different, personally. Yeah, okay. Like, they they weren't so, so similar close, that yeah. you couldn't really tell them apart, which sometimes happens with the other, Okay, you know, green. lineups. First impression, I mean, again, nice, but... Don't forget your arm smell. Totally different. Um, and I'm just going to do this real quick. Yeah, okay. Okay. Red. Oh, this one has a little bit more of a spicy kind of. And now I'll do a reveal. Thing. Stay back. Okay. It's just for the people. Okay. okay. So I'm going to get into a bit okay. more depth. Yeah. Let's give us a, a and, real. And this is thing. not in any order, but okay. I will do it in the reverse okay. order. You that give I us a it, real okay? nosing order. Okay. Now. So red. Red. Nosing the red. 
There is a nice kind of like raisin, mm. malty mm. spice going mm. on there. Raisin malty spice. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Speaking to of what? raisin malty spice, <laughs> the green. Mm. Oh, but the green has, mm. in my mind, a little bit more. It's it's hard to kind of pinpoint an exact smell when it doesn't relate. It it reminds me a little bit more of the the grain notes are shining through on this okay. one a bit more. Hmm. Okay. Rough it up a bit. Okay. Because you've had red and green so far, yeah, and you're on to yellow. yellow. Oh, yellow is kind of interesting. It's kind of has a more baking spice version. Mm. But, and, and, and a little bit more, he, like, heat, but not in a bad way. Not okay. like a, like a, no, burn your nose hairs out right. kind of way. It's, it's just got more, a little bit more heat. A bit more boom. Okay. And then, finally. Finally, blue. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm really liking the blue. It has actually a little bit more of a, the, the sherry cask kind of vibe to it, but it also has, interestingly enough, mm. a right. smell like those really, really old bottles of scotch that we, oh, like many, like there's a little bit of a fermented, fermented kind of feel to it. So on the nose, it's my favorite so far. Oh, okay. Okay. Distinctly. So where, where, where did you land with the nosing lineup? Uh, blue first. Uh, blue first. Let me go against these two. Hold on. You talked about the tingle of the mm, yellow. The yellow's a little bit of that tingly kind of... Actually, I think that order might be okay there. Let's go with these two. Mm, mm. This is a harder one, Keeping I find. Keeping in mind the, the, no green. the nosing order is uh, secondary yeah but you know if uh i decided to stop drinking i would probably still be a noser yeah, sniffing but... <laughs> yes <clears throat> a professional noser i think that's actually a thing actually i don't 100 percent. make a decision okay i'm gonna actually kind of keep where i'm at here Oops, so green that. was so third I I'm gonna, and I'm gonna red was fourth. Taste them now. I'm gonna okay. go with the reverse red. Order. Reverse, reverse order. order. Red on the taste. Red on the taste. Grab this. Yeah. Put that on your shelf or put it over here. Oh, put it over here. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to. That's quite nice. Evade the privacy of the bottle. Um, gonna move right on to the green. Right. The green's almost a little bit, just kind of softer, and a little bit more f fruity, kind of plummy flavors to it. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice, honestly. Okay, they all are, <laughs> as you would expect. Like the Glenfiddich lineup is tasty. It is it's just a fact. This one's interesting. It has like a, yellow. A yellow has a bit more of a, for me personally, like a little bit of a slightly soapy vibe to it. Mm, okay. And a slight more of a effervescent tingle to it. Okay. And I actually quite like it. Mm. Um, As you should. <laughs> okay. And finally, uh, blue. For me, the blue is best. I haven't even tasted it. <laughs> I mean, it's really soft. Quite soft. A little bit more leathery. A little bit more of that slightly kind of traditional sherry style. Mm. Um, but just really well-rounded. So I think um, I'm going to do a real quick taste. One drink of water here and then go through them. Okay. The finale. And then I'm going to do what you did. The big You finale. did the one versus four, right? Right, yes, I did. So I'll go red. Fourth place. Oh, that's really good. 
Okay. And then, but do you still stand by your I think original? So, yeah. Okay. One beat four. Okay. Now you're tasting two versus three. That was three. Tasting two. Hmm, interesting. Like, so. I'm done. No, yeah, you're not gonna. No. Just don't second guess it. No, I'm not second guessing because, okay. like, there is a bit more of a heat to the the yellow. Yeah. But it's not something I'm disliking at this moment. Okay. So. I for, could be wrong about everything. For you. Yes. In fourth place. Yeah. Is the. I don't know. Glenn Fittick 15 year old. Okay. That's. Is that the you same said. one I had yeah, fourth place? Yeah, the same one you said, yeah. In third place, yep. you have the Glenn Fittick 12 year old. Same one too. I have. <laughs> In That's third place, yep. wait, second place. Second place. In second place, you have the Glenn Fittick 14 year old. In the first We're place, you have the, the 18. Same. We have the exact. <laughs> I don't think I've, we've ever had correct. the same one. It never happened. Wow, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> we do agree that the Glenfiddich 18 is a is a it's step definitively above. Definitively the best, yeah. I think. But the Bourbon Cast 14 is dope. Yeah. Like, that's really good. So let's put it in the right order. It's, okay, here's the thing, though. Okay, hold on. I think maybe... The, maybe the star of the show is actually the 12... Yes. Not being Good last point. place. Good point. Because it was... Like, I love the 15. Yeah. I do. But we both picked it as last. We both actually picked it And it's 12. interesting that the 15 is kind of... Um, the... the I don't want to say gimmick, but the premise behind it is the Solera bags. Right. And, like and, and, you know, there's you know, all kinds stuff of stuff in there. Years yeah. ago. When in reality, like, for me, this one, I felt had that kind of weird... But good fermented kind of Clearly. thing, and it's to but, me okay. Tails, heads and tails. The one that I noticed was that you nailed this one both on the nose and the taste. You're like it's slightly more effervescent, giving me slightly more tingle, and it's the forty three percenter. So what's the order I did it then? So, so that was here. that so was this was this, first for you, then this second, was last, second. Yeah. yeah, so that was actually your order. There it was like yeah. first, second, third, fourth. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so there you have it. I mean... Uh, I mean, if you need any proof... <laughs> like, if you if you need any more proof to buy Glenfiddich 12 as your base model single malt... Like, yeah, totally. Like, you're not getting a, a ripped-off bad experience with no, this one. No, it is so definitely good. good. However... It's crazy. We've never picked the this same lineup. This guy is really, really That nice. one's a standout. It's a standout, for sure. Yeah. Um, click like subscribe, leave a comment, and um, check us out on the social at Trenny and C, and make sure that you choose Coinbase as your cryptocurrency wallet. That's right. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> we both got blue. Did we both have blue? Blue? Uh, no. <laughs>